What's up guys, Kaido here, and this is a new update for uh, Jigsaw Inventory System. Um, this update works for both examples, and it is for uh, 4.25 and plus. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So first of all, we have two new slots. Uh, we have headwear and eyewear. So for headwear and eyewear, you can like whip something like uh, headphones, glasses, uh, or you can use them for uh, something else completely. Uh, it's up to you. Um, so these uh, two, uh, two new slots work for, uh, uh, they both work for uh, AI and players. If you loot them, uh, you should be able to uh, loot their, uh, or see these uh, two new slots. Um, the other thing here is attachments. So let's go ahead and pick up this rifle and switch to a uh, first person. Uh, so added first person as well. You can press V to switch between first and third person. Uh, so for attachments, uh, let's say we have this uh, stock rifle with no attachments. So we have here a couple attachments here. Uh, so I have like a laser sight. Uh, these are basic models, so uh, you are expected to replace them with something better. Uh, but like the functionality is what matters here. So uh, we have here a, a sight, then some a grip, pistol grip, uh, compensator, mag, and then yeah. Uh, also, I don't have any good icons, so I just uh, set this basic gear icon. Uh, so if we if we double click on the rifle uh, here. Uh, we can see here the special container for the rifle and I will make a, another video on special container because uh, I think it's very important for like to make complex um, containers uh, but for this rifle we have the special container um, and as you can see we have more slots here you can add more you can remove as uh, you want so uh, let's go ahead and install some attachments so if uh, we have here this uh, site uh, container or attachment uh, slot uh, so we have site here, I can drag the site there, and as you can see, it gets uh, installed on the weapon. And of course, it's persistent, so if you drop the weapon, uh, the attachments will remain, and uh, if you spawn the weapon with attachments on it, so for example, if you loot a weapon from a container, and it has some attachments, you uh, will be able to see those attachments installed. So they're replicated, and everything is working fine. Uh, so also, if you remove the attachment, of course, it's going to be removed from the weapon. So let's go ahead and install all these attachments. So we have like compensator, you can drag over the weapon as well. Uh, so as you can see there, it gets installed. Laser uh, sight, um, installed there. And then of course we have the grip, then of course pistol grip and mag as well. And of course we don't have it stuck there. So for a laser sight, I just added a line trace there. Uh, let's go ahead and load the stock here and add it to the weapon. And there's this uh, nice command that I like, which is called toggle debug Let's see if I can find a toggle debug camera. So this uh, lets you kind of, you know, uh, fly around and see your character and what is it doing. As you can see here, we have these attachments installed on the weapon um, and uh, visually, and of course, uh, like I said, if you remove those uh, attachments, they will be removed from the weapon. Um, so uh, like I said, if you go, for example, to this container right here, and then let's say we have this uh, rifle here. So this rifle does not exist right now. It's not spawn, it's just, and the container. So if you, uh, of course you can interact with its uh, special container as well. So we have here a laser sight. So let's go ahead and install it here. And then I can equip the rifle. And if I switch to it, you're gonna see that now it spawns with the attachments on it. As you can see, that's the laser sight. And of course you can uh, remove the attachments or uh, whatever. Um, so this is, uh, well, this is the second addition, which is attachments. And I'll show you later how to set up uh, attachments. Also. I thought, why not add some lead in as well? You can do it with E and Q, and of course, uh, some zoom in as well. So, for attachments, you can go to system here, widgets, and then special containers. And this is where you find your uh, special containers. Uh, so, for the rifle, rifle one and two, they have this SC attachments. Um, and for the pistol, it has this SC attachment. So, if you need more special containers for other weapons that maybe have like fewer attachments or more attachments, you can simply right click here and do duplicate. And then you can like customize the special container ho however you want. So if we open the SC attachments, which is uh, intended for the rifle one and two, uh, we have here a all these attachments that we need. So someone was asking why a certain magazine was not getting installed. So they created a new magazine and it was not getting installed here. That's because you need to indicate the supported IDs here. So if you go to so if you go to only support these IDs, you can find here whatever IDs from the pickup data tables are supported. So make sure you enter them all. So for a magazine, we only have mag because we only have one mag. So if I add another one and I want it to be installed here, uh, so make sure you add it here. 
So I will be making another tutorial on special containers, but uh, for now, make sure you uh, go to the interface here and then get list of containers and make sure you return all the uh, the existing containers. And also we have like a git container by attachment type. So we have like a new enum of attachment type. So make sure you also return the container based on the attachment type. So these are two very important functions in the interface here, this interface for uh, attachments to work. Now the other thing, let's go ahead and check out the pistol. Um, so the pistol has a different uh, special container. Um, let's go ahead and maximize here. Um, so if we open the pistol here, as you can see, it has a like, fewer attachments. Now this is just an image, you can update it or you can remove it. Um, so we have site here, if I install the site, as you can see, it gets installed on the uh, skeletal mesh of the weapon. So let's go ahead and check out the weapons here. So if we go to examples here, then uh, simple pickups, then skeletal mesh. So uh, I changed the rifle and pistol to skeletal meshes because I think it's more convenient, but it, it can definitely work with static meshes as well. So if you open rifle one, you're gonna see that the most important thing here is that it, it inherits from firearm class. And this is where all our attachments are there handled. And of course some other logic about damage and fire, or reload, etc. So if you go here, scale uh, main firearm class, it inherits from the main pickup class. So this is your uh, firearm class. So if you're gonna make a new weapon, you can duplicate the rifle. So if you go to rifle, you can also duplicate or make a new pickup of the firearm class. Um, so to make the uh, attachments work, First of all, so let's say if I go to the data table, the pickups data table, let's say I want to go to the data table attachments and this is where I have my um, pickups, you know, the pickups that I see in the ground. So this laser site, for example, uh, so the ID is laser site and this is where we have like, like I said, dimensions, etc. So the first thing you want to do here is copy this laser site and then find the DT local attachment. This is where you indicate um, what attachment gets installed on the weapon and what socket in the class, of course. Um, so for laser sight here, we simply have the same ID from this data table. Then we indicate where it gets uh, installed on the static mesh or skeletal mesh. So was, let me open the rifle here if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Laser. So this is the socket where the laser gets installed. Um, and of course, in the in DT local attachments, we indicate that socket and then the type. This is very important. Uh, so for laser side, I just said tactical because it can be a laser or flashlight, etc. Uh, and then you indicate the uh, attachment class. So this is a, another pickup class. So let's go ahead and find it actually. So local laser. So if you go to simple pickups, static mesh pickups, attachments, and then local attachments, you can make these... Um, um, local attachments so they inherit from main local attachment um, so if we if we open the local laser site uh, here we go so if I open that up um, and as you can see here I'm just simply doing a line trace with laser site so this is where you add logic for that specific attachment and it inherits from main local attachment so so we destroy the la uh, laser site pickup version and then we install this local laser Version, which is which only has the logic for that specific attachment which is in this case we have like whatever we need here if you have a flashlight you add some light for example or if you have a laser sight you you know spawn the particle effect or whatever um, so there you go so once again if you go to the uh, data table attachments we have like a site here you copy the ID you go to DT local attachment then you indicate here, so you indicate the ID, where it should be installed, and the type is mag, and of course the local attachment. So if you go here, we'll say it's local. If you're gonna need, if you're gonna create more, make sure you right click duplicate here or make a child here. So there's a difference between duplicating and making a child. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below or on Discord. And uh, yeah, until then, stay safe and see you later. Goodbye.